and church worker, leader, pastor, or regular church goer. In case you never realized, people are watching. Hi, my name is Ad Nathan, and this is another episode of Salt with Ad. People are watching the way you dress, the words you speak, the places you go to, and the people you hang out with. This is why we have to be deliberate in living our lives. Because what makes us different as Christians is not how we appear on Sundays, but how we live our lives on a daily basis. There's a lot of church people who are good looking, song speaking, and filled with the Holy Ghost on Sundays, but every other day, you find them involved in deeds that are questionable. And then, you see other young believers or non-believers judge the entire church based on what they've seen about the stewards. And they begin to say things like, church people are hypocrites, that we are fake, that there's no difference between you and them. Just that they admit that they are wrong, but you pretend to be good. How can you, an usher in church, be duping clients or business partners? How can the leader of a choir be found partying wild on a Friday night? How do you expect them to have respect for the church? You represent the church and can affect its testimony. The society knows who the church workers are. And if they are not living as they should, they will bring shame on the gospel. The Bible says that it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. That is not just faithfulness to church functions, but faithfulness in doctrinal purity, in modesty, your relationship with people and in separation from the world. When Paul wrote the titles, he told him characteristics that should be found in men and women in the church. And then he said, so that the word of God may not be insulted. In another place he said, so that in every way they will make the teaching about God attractive. Your life should back up the message being preached in church. Understand that the spotlight is on you. Do not be the reason a person leaves church. God bless you.